You wanna know what the worst thing about what I do is? Try to find a nice, quiet place to do a one-on-one -on -one video. Finally found a spot, now there's a remote control airplane flying behind me. What's going on, you guys? It is TBA, and if you already looked at the title, you know we're gonna have a, a nice conversation. Needless to say, I do respect and understand that this topic is completely opinion based, but it also bugs me when I see this term thrown around so much that I don't really think that people understand what it actually entails. So we're gonna talk about that. Spot burning. What is spot burning? If you ask a lot of people, they will tell you a spot that is expose a good fishing spot that is given out via pictures, videos, etc. Let me just say this, that first and foremost, this term is a reason why I love catfishing. You hardly ever see this issue in catfishing, all right? Bass fishing, largemouth, smallmouth bass, I really don't do it enough to really get a gauge if it goes on quite a bit or not. Striped bass, I see it from time to time. Saltwater fishing, I haven't really seen it too much because everybody's on a boat. But what I, when I really see this issue is with snakeheads. Oh my goodness, it is bad with snakeheads. But first, let's settle a difference here, all right? Spot burning, in my eyes, is not just merely going to a spot, posting pictures or videos, and merely someone recognizing it, all right? Because, again, is it really spot burning if it's a spot you yourself already know? Or if it's already a spot that's already popular? And the number one example of that is Blackwater, Maryland. You hear so many people say, oh my goodness, spot burning all over Blackwater, them darn YouTubers and people posting on Facebook and Instagram and fish brain and all this good stuff. Well, that's spot exposure, but with spot burning, let's go along the more lines of fish brain, right? You actually have people who will post the spot, what they were using, how far they cast it out, GPS coordinates, how to get there, and all this other crap out there, which actually makes it spot burning. Simply fishing a spot that is, that you know, that you already have knowledge of, that you found yourself, and merely fishing there, that's not spot burning. And it bugs me to no end when I hear people call it spot burning. It's also interesting because the people who accuse me of spot burning accuse me of spots that I myself already knew. So how is it spot burning if I already knew the spot myself? Two, I don't ever put the location of my spots in my videos and I do that for a reason. I'm gonna tell you like this, doing YouTube, I get, I get complained on so much. Oh, it's spot burning. Oh my goodness, you're putting a spot on YouTube. Well, check it out. Here's the deal, all right? A lot of the, especially with snakehead spots, all but one spot I found myself. And that's because I get out the black water, I turn the GPS off, and I just drive around and look for spots. I had someone message me about a particular spot that I fished at. He messaged me on Facebook and he said, hey, how'd you find out about that spot? I said, man, I turned the GPS off, I was actually driving to another spot, and I happened to find this spot. So we got out the car, we put poles in the water, and it was a good day. That's it. That's all there is to it. It's not really that hard, you know? Again, just as I stated earlier, it's not spot burning if it's a spot that's already recognized. My very last snakehead video I did, I must have had over 20 some people say, oh my goodness, don't say the name of the spot. That's my secret spot, that's my popular spot. Well, the truth is, I actually only fished there because there was nobody there. 
it is a very popular spot. In fact, when I normally see people spread out with poles all over the area in which I was fishing at. So you gotta ask yourself, is it really spot burning if it's a spot that's already wildly known? I don't see it as such. It's very hard to call it spot burning whenever it's a spot that's already popular. And especially in the snakehead world, everybody loves to blame us, the YouTubers. Now check it out, I'm about to take up for us YouTubers because we're not the cause of the problem. A lot of these spots are already burned up well before we came along and started fishing them. I will say and acknowledge that YouTube plays a big part in people learning spots, but that's our way of passing on knowledge and showing you the how to and showing you how to properly fish a spot. And if you're mad over a spot being burned up, you might want to find more spots because there is no such thing as a secret spot or oh my goodness this is my one spot that somebody else doesn't already know about. Two, I'm going to tell you why the term spot burning is irrelevant. If you don't have private ownership of the property, you don't have ownership of that land that you're fishing, that ain't your spot anyways. That belongs to either the municipality or the city or the county or the state and sometimes federal property. So if it ain't your property that you yourself paid for, I don't want to hear all that. You know what I'm saying? And it's funny because again, in the snakehead world, I had gotten into an argument with somebody about that term spot burning. I politely told this gentleman, hey, if you don't personally own the property, who are you to tell how someone else would fish a spot that you have no ownership to? What it was was someone had posted a picture from a kayak of a spot where he had caught a snakehead and he gave the name of the location, right? So someone went on there and went off on him and I took up for the guy, I said check it out. He catching a snakehead in the spot, if he wants to put the name, yes I will classify that as spot burning because he gave the location, but who are you or me or him or her or anybody else to tell what someone can and cannot put on Facebook? Because here's my philosophy, it's one thing to know a fishing spot. Doggone flies almost kamikaze me, you know what I'm saying? It's one thing to know a fishing spot. It's another thing to know how to properly fish it. One of the very first spots I started fishing out here in Maryland was a spot that I had saw on YouTube and it took me about three weeks to finally learn how to properly fish this spot. I had seen so many people come in and out of this spot, don't catch nothing. It's one again, it's one thing to know a spot, it's another thing to know how to properly fish it. Alright? Let's get back on the YouTube subject. Alright? Well, first off, let's talk about Facebook. Facebook, you got all these wonderful groups who are all about these different types of fishing. And then you have all these admins and moderators who are monitoring everything, and you know, and, and in my personal opinion, especially with Facebook. I'm not a big fan of trying to post my content to advertise on Facebook because I don't want to catch a moderator or admin on a bad day, but Facebook is a big part of the views that I get on YouTube. So until I get enough viewership to where I could do away and not have to advertise on different groups, then it's not too bad. Instagram is a little different because you don't have all the groups, you just have to hit the right uh, hashtags and all that good stuff and all that it really is is just you put the picture out there or your content or whatever and just try to get that right hashtag tag people of equipment or other anglers you know the companies of equipment that was used in your videos Instagram is kind of hard to really do that not impossible but it is hard now let's talk about us youtubers I've seen so many YouTubers, especially YouTube fishermen, that get so much hate and just get uh, so much uh, animosity towards him. I was talking to one guy who's a YouTuber and he said that, man, I went out rock fishing one day at a spot on my boat 
and I think he said it was some uh, charter boat uh, fishermen and anglers that told him he need to take the video down because that's the spot they fish and so he took the video down I'm gonna tell you like yes all right if I happen to fish a spot that some charter service or some big time fisherman knows guess what and they want me to take it down over my dead body I ain't taking nothing off of YouTube you know what I'm saying you can argue and be mad all you want cuz like I said me you the person to the left or to the right don't own the spot right so why am I gonna take a video down just because it's a spot that you know again if it's a spot that I found myself I ain't losing no sleep now like I said I won't name the spot but I'm not losing no sleep and I'm not taking no video down just because someone who makes money off of it likes that spot I don't really care because they don't own the spot they own their boat and I'm not on their boat so I don't really care you know what I'm saying now I will say this if someone takes me out to a spot that I don't know they introduce it to me it's a good spot and it's it's uh, it produces then I will not only respect that spot but I won't fish there I won't take my equipment there and again I'm not going there by myself out of respect for them if it's a spot that they themselves know you know and they invite me out and trust me with that I'm not I won't fish that spot unless it's with them it's just a respect thing uh, Devon Metropolitan Angler and Warren with the fishing areas they both had showed me a spot, it's a snakehead spot that not too many people know about. It is a very nice tucked away spot, not too, not too many people know about this spot. In fact, I've never seen anybody post at this spot other than these two. And this spot, I told them, I won't go to the spot unless it's without them. I know how to get there, I'm sure I can get into some nice snakeheads there, but I won't fish that spot out of respect for them. Same with Catterman, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I did some research at one of our shark spots, well I'm sorry, one of his shark spots, and we were seriously the only ones catching sharks this size off the shore. Everybody else was catching them off a boat. So out of respect for him, I won't fish that spot without him. I even have my own equipment to go sharking by myself, but I still won't do that just because it's a respect mm -hmm. thing. He's told me, Brandon, you know what? If you really want to go out there and target him, it's all right. But out of respect for Kevin and that spot, I'm not doing that. Now, speaking of YouTube, let's talk about one rod, one reel. I have seen that dude. And well, first off, if you know me, now I know you know one rod, one reel. I know you know him. He's very, very famous YouTube fisherman based out of here in Maryland. And I've seen that guy takes get so much flack for his for his content, his spots. I've seen so many people blame him for all oh, my spots blown up. I ain't catching no fish no more and blah blah blah. But I can't say one way or another if it's a spot burning or not because one, I don't watch his, all his videos to know if he puts the name of the location in his videos. From the videos I have saw, I know he gives a general location, but he doesn't give a specific location. So, two, again, you all gotta realize, one rod, one reel, I think he's making six figures off of YouTube. I'm sorry, but when you're making six figures off of just putting fishing videos on YouTube, whose opinion is really going to matter to you? You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I can see why people are upset, but again, I gotta take up for him because, you know, I know how it is as well. And I monetize as well. I don't make the money he makes, but I do make money off of my videos. And sorry, I'm just not gonna lose sleep over someone getting mad because they can merely recognize a spot off of one of my videos. I don't put the names of my location in there, but. I still give enough respect that I, I won't put the names in my videos. Again, I'm not going to be upset. I've been, I myself have been accused of spot burning. 
I'm even, what's even funnier, I see people who throw out that term and accuse others of that so bad, then they'll turn around and send me private messages about certain fishing spots. It's like, dang on. One thing I pride myself on, I mean, if people want to tell me a spot, all right, cool. But a lot of my spots, I found on my own. I ain't asking no people. I put the time in, I put the work in, I put the effort in, and I actually get boots on the ground and go venture out myself. And sometimes it's just a matter of putting a line in and seeing if there's anything in there. All right. Again, my philosophy, knowing a spot is only one portion of the of one part of the battle. Properly fishing it is another. I've seen, again, I have spots where I've seen people fish it and they don't catch nothing because they don't know how to properly fish it. All right. So now, let's talk about fish brain. My buddy Kevin Catterman actually did a video on why he doesn't use fish brain. And it's a very good video. There's a, he got a lot of hate for that video, but you know what? He just put his heart out there and gave an honest opinion about it. So here's my take on fish brain. Problem with fish brain is it gives you the locations on where to catch fish but it takes away the respect of the species and of the spots and, and, and the likes thereof. Because I've seen it so many times where people will find a spot, they'll fish it, they won't have no appreciation, they just wanna catch fish. They don't care about learning about the species, their behavior, they just wanna go out and catch fish. And they'll be the same ones who leave their trash everywhere won't clean up after themselves and they're the ones hey any fish are biting you know what I'm saying but me personally I use fish brain because it's great for marketing my YouTube videos outside of that I have my locations turned off on the app which you can do and I really don't get involved with the back and forth with people oh where you at where you fishing blah 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 and no, I don't do all that it's just right now it's just a good marketing tool for YouTube that's spot burning, man, according to me. Again, this is all opinion based from my point of view. All right, you might disagree, you might agree, but me, I see the term get thrown around so much and I don't think people really understand. It's just people getting upset and finding a reason to be upset and lash out at somebody else. All right, so in the meantime, y'all take care. Be easy. Baltimore Angler. See y'all later.